The reason I live in Ashland, Kansas, I love the outdoors and I knew I wanted to live in small town USA. And this is beautiful country. Rolling hills, river bottom, wildlife, and of course, cattle. Ashland provides my family with a safe place to live. No crime, no worries. Just last week, I left my pickup running in front of the post office. 30 minutes later, still there, running with keys in it. We have a great school district. Our kids get a first class education and participate in about every activity. Well, pick me up. To me, success isn't all about money. It's about quality of life. Living life in Ashland, it's living life at its best. My name is Larry Conradi, and I call Ashland home. Take care. The reason I live in Ashland, Kansas, it's like one big family. Everyone knows everyone. I've tried living in a big city, but when it came to raising my family, I wanted to be part of a small town. My husband and I were presented with a dream job opportunity to run the Hardesty House restaurant here in Ashland, Kansas. It's a historic restaurant that's been in his family for almost 20 years. It has a large menu and has a lot of homemade dishes. With my husband's love for cooking, we were soon Ashland bound. It didn't take long for us to become acquainted with the people in our new home. And work? Well, it's only three blocks from home. My favorite part of living here in Ashland is the holiday season. It's the time when Everyone gets together and celebrates Christmas like a big family. Main Street opens and the entire community joins together for shopping, caroling, hot cocoa, Christmas goodies, and a visit from Santa. It's the people that make this place so great. You can go anywhere you want in the world, but when you come home to Ashland, you are truly coming home. My name is Emily Moore, and I call Ashland home. I want to tell you a story, a true story. A year ago tomorrow, a thousand people packed the high school gym at Ashland, Kansas for a basketball game unlike anyone had ever seen. Hundreds of women in these communities have received the opportunity for cancer preventive care because of the funds raised last year. They will survive because you showed up to play basketball. This whole idea was started by a dishwasher, a 22-year-old dishwasher in, in the kitchen at our hospital uh, with the idea that one person can change the world. It's taken off. Like, it is, it's unbelievable. And he had an idea uh, to, to bring stars from all over the country to this place, and, and his dream became a reality. And if it can happen here in a town of 900 people, it can happen anywhere. We pack spelled out Wilmore, Inglewood, Protection, Ashland, and Coldwater, and that's what we are. We're not just helping the people in Ashland, we're not just helping the people in Coldwater, we're helping everyone. You know, set back and said, well, we can use three recent graduates from each town, and then uh, we can get some celebrity players. And, and with that, we realized, you know, some of the biggest women's basketball names in the history of the game uh, are right from these 1A small Kansas towns. And, and so we started with one of them, with Jackie Stiles, and, and uh, she quickly said she was on board, and with that, there was a snowball effect. And then players from uh, Kansas, from Nebraska, from Missouri, uh, from Iowa, from, from uh, you know, Notre Dame, from USC, from WNBA teams across the country, and they said they would come and help. And then came Fox Sports Network and took it to a whole other level. Fox heard what we were doing and were, was inspired by it and said, we'll come out and cover it uh, if you can get the players there. Nobody see, nobody else. Well, I would like to hold my love. Hold 
the money that is raised from this ball game goes to pay for the mammograms, the well woman exams, as well as colonoscopies. So without the ball game and all the work that the WePAC Alliance ladies have done, all of this would not be possible. That the future of this project um, needs to be other towns, other communities using the game of women's basketball uh, to, to inspire change. My name is Benjamin Anderson and I'm the CEO of Ashland Health Center and now that you've seen uh, what five small towns are capable of doing uh, to impact the country and, and, and take care of their local citizens, we need your help to, to tell that story to the rest of the country uh, so that we can inspire other towns just like ours to take an active responsibility for their health.